In my last couple videos, I've covered some great distributions. I've also covered a lot of things that I didn't like about Microsoft. I think I've done one, two, I've maybe done four or five videos in the last six months to a year to really point out why I just think Microsoft is trash in what they're trying to do to the Linux community. And what they're trying to do with hardware overall is pretty, pretty horrible. Now, I figured letting the Linux community know about this would be a good thing. I figured people would be like, thank you for the information. We can go look this up. We can actually take a peek around ourselves and just see exactly what Microsoft is doing. But what I noticed was a lot of people in the Linux community kind of pushed back. And at the end of the day, really what they were trying to tell me was, hey, eBuzz, why don't you just shut the f up? Now, if you don't believe me, I'm going to go over a couple things here. And this is going to be my last rant for a while. I've got a lot of distros to get into. We've got the new release of Nitrix out there. I've got Storm D I've got to get to, which is the new Debian-based Storm OS. But I'm going to go over a couple comments today, and then we're going to put this to bed for a while, and I'll get off my Microsoft rant. So the first comment I want to take a look at today comes from somebody over on my MeWe groups. Now, if you're not part of MeWe, it is a great alternative to Facebook. It's really open. You don't get a lot of ads in your feed. But I post to a lot of Linux groups over there. And I posted my last video, Microsoft Must Be Stopped, over on a Linux group. And here's what I got. Please stop posting why you hate Microsoft and using Microsoft as the reason to switch to Linux. Now I want to stop right there. Microsoft Must Be Stopped. I didn't use it as a stepping stone to tell people why they need to switch to Linux. What I used it for was to inform everybody of everything that Microsoft is trying to do to the hardware manufacturers to force them to enact steps that if Microsoft decides to flip a switch in the future, they can, and you won't be able to install or run Linux. Now, the next part of this, people can switch to Apple or Linux if they don't like Microsoft. True, they sure can. But at the same time, if you're a Linux user and you're somebody that uses hardware that used to have Windows on it, and you're looking to buy hardware in the future that might be locked down and make it hard for you to run Linux. Do you want to know or do you not want to know? That's just my question. You even said more than once in your video, the reason to switch is self-explanatory. So stop explaining it here. This community is about Linux, which also includes the WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux, and open source software relating to Linux. Now, this is where I want to go off. Okay, he tells me my rants aren't needed or wanted. Even Windows has embraced Linux with Windows Subsystem for Linux. Now, I want to say this real clear to anybody watching this video. Windows Subsystem for Linux is trash. It is pure garbage. Do you know why they have a Windows Subsystem for Linux? All you smart people out there, all you brilliant minds out there that tell me that Windows loves Linux... They're embracing it. They're giving you a subsystem for it. No, they're not. They're trying to force you to run Linux as an application inside of Windows so that in the future when they take all of your hardware and they, they put all this crap on it to make it to where you can't run Linux on it, you have to use that piece of crap Windows subsystem for Linux to use your Linux operating system. If you disagree with me, I dare you to say something in the comments below. I'm a little upset, guys, because I put everything out in front of people and 95% of the people that watch this video understand it. The other 5% tell me that all I am doing is fear-mongering, I don't need to post this junk in Linux forums, and that I need to take my tinfoil hat off. Really? Windows Subsystem for Linux, think about it. They're letting you run Linux basically as an app inside of Windows. Is that the way you want to use Linux? Disagree with me? Write it in the comments below. Rants for hating Microsoft or Apple or any other software does not belong in this community. Fair enough. This community is about enjoying Linux and sharing knowledge or obtaining knowledge about Linux and its related software. Well, guys, if you don't have hardware to run Linux on, my personal opinion, it doesn't matter what kind of knowledge or obtaining knowledge about Linux or the related software have to do with anything if they're going to force you to run it like an app inside of Windows because they're trying to lock down all the hardware. Just my opinion. If you disagree with me, please let me know in the comment below. Now, let's zip on over to the next comment. And I really don't know what was trying to be done with this comment. I'm just going to go over here to my YouTube studio. Do you own your own house? You probably do, but you still pay for it. 
for 30 years. You don't own Google Android or anything else. So this guy right here is just basically saying, we don't own our hardware. We might as well just get used to it. This is that statement to me, what I just read is acceptance of, okay, well, I don't own my hardware. No big deal. I don't really own my house and I, I don't own this and I don't own that. This is the acceptance that I'm talking about in the community of people that are just accepting what is being dictated to them and we don't have to. And I kind of came back to him and I said, what comparisons are you trying to make? I said, even with a mortgage on my house, I get to pick the paint. I can go out and change the carpet or whatever I want to do. I can do whatever I want to that house while I'm paying it off. It's not locked down. It's kind of a piss poor comparison, in my opinion, comparing a computer to a house or a mortgage. But at the same time, yeah, you're right. I don't get to, you know, I have to pay for 20, 30 years on a house if I've got a mortgage. But during that time, as long as I'm following city codes, I can do anything I want to the house. It's mine. I don't have the bank coming in and telling me, okay, you can repaint, but you have to paint this color. Okay, you can get carpet, but the carpet's got to look like this. Okay, you can do this to the garage, but you've got to do that. The bank don't do that. They just want their monthly payment, and then I can do whatever I want to the house. Well, he followed up with, you can do with Windows, same thing. The only thing you cannot do is to change theming or anything with Grub. Try not to pay the mortgage for a few months. See, it's totally off. Sounds like a defender of Windows for a second. And I almost thought for a second, is this a shill? Is this somebody getting paid to come in and comment? Because if you go down through here, I get these big, long comments. And then I'll answer about, he says, billion dollar companies don't use Linux. And I informed him that, you know, a lot of billion dollar companies do use Linux, especially on the point of sale software on the server side. Now, a lot of the paper pushers are going to be using Windows because they need the words, the Excels, and things like that. And uh, so I keep coming down here, and uh, he says, so hospitals, libraries, Chinese companies using Linux, is that so? And I had to inform him that China just announced that they're completely getting rid of Windows. Uh, most libraries I go to here locally, their, their, uh, their point of sale or point of checkout is Linux based and a lot of hospitals are Linux based. Now I do know a lot of the software that run like the MRI machines and things like that uh, are Windows. But at the same time, he's saying 95% of the computers out there. And I said, you know, I had to point out we're talking about, he's talking about desktops. A lot of the big billion dollar corporations do have Linux integrated into their businesses, especially for the security side and especially for the server side. And then he come back and says, schools are using it. Why do schools use Microsoft? And I had to point out, schools don't use Microsoft. They've switched to almost completely Chromebooks or Apple products. Now, this is where it gets me wrong. He makes it and reiterates it here. Listen to this. Don't get me wrong. I am a comp tech savvy guy. I like systems and I don't make money. Or Microsoft is not paying me. Maybe if Microsoft pays me, then maybe I will go that route. Or Linux. No one pays me. I don't get a dime talking about Linux or Microsoft. Maybe you do. I don't. So I state the truth and facts. Linux doesn't pay me to talk about Linux. They don't pay me to bash Microsoft. But he went above and beyond here to say that Microsoft isn't giving him anything. So let's go to the next part. I don't know how many times I ask someone, do you use a Samsung Note phone? They say, I just like the phone. Never taking out the S Pen. People don't care. Google Android is doing the same. Mac and so on. They are more people on Macs and ITs than on Linux and Microsoft combined. They know that it costs money and it's closed source, but still use it. I really, at the end of the day, don't understand where this commenter is going. But to go heavy up here and say, Microsoft's not paying me, Microsoft's not paying me, Microsoft's not paying me. He said it three times in an area of, what, a little paragraph. Guys, I'm not going to do any more Microsoft rants for a while. I know you guys will be happy for me just to get back to the Linux part of things and the Linux side of things and just point out new distributions and new software that's coming out. It's going to make your job extremely easier, but I do have to point this out. Microsoft is a cancer. Microsoft is definitely doing things right now that if you're in a Linux community and you want to depend on the Windows subsystem for Linux to do your work, You've got another thing coming. Please get your head out of your ass and understand that. Windows subsystem for Linux is trash. It makes you run Linux as an app inside Windows. Don't accept it. And as long as I love Linux and as long as I love software that is made for Linux 
and I dislike the things that Microsoft is doing because they're a shady corporation, I am not going to shut the f*** up. So don't even bother. If you want to come in and say all these nice things in my comments, go for it. But at the same time, I'm not going to back down. Never have, never will. Please do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, and follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member right here on YouTube, buying us a cup of coffee, going over to Patreon and becoming a patron to the channel, or maybe even throwing us a donation on PayPal. Once again, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in my next video.